drawing. Great way to foster a child's creativity, right? Yes. Wonderful. What about when the father allows his little girl to draw and permanently ink a tattoo on his body? <laughs> that sounds pretty outrageous, but this really happened. So this little girl tattooed a strawberry on her dad's arm, and that father, Bob, joins oh. us now via Skype. And, and Bob, first things first, I was just gonna ask, what, what made you decide to let your daughter go ahead and, and, and basically tattoo a, a strawberry on your arm? Yeah, well, uh, she's always been a part of the shop as far as the motivation and um, inspiration to, to start my own tattoo shop. If you look around, there's plenty of art. Um, it, she's always done painting and drawing, and I have a recording studio in here as well where she plays keyboard, and, and she's always just a part of it. So uh, she has been asking me for, for months, when can I tattoo you, Daddy? And I gave her a little test run to see if she could hold it and control the machine weight, and she did great. Wow. So we well, let, her, let her go through the And it's, it, it's kind of cool. You know, you, you, obviously, you have other tattoos that were done professionally, look very cool, but, but what your daughter did is, although she has clearly has talent, it does look like, like kid art. Yeah, sure, this is beyond refrigerator art. You know, you, tr you go through different ways to try to preserve artwork and you've got it. But I, I've got to wonder, weren't you kind of nervous that she could have gone too deep or that she could have dropped the tattoo gun on her, on her foot? Or what type of precautions were you taking to make sure that none of that happened? So uh, the, the first time I had her hold the machine, there was no needle in it at all. And uh, still had gloves on, still helping her. Um, just to see if she could control it. And basically, she did really good. She kind of traced over uh, old, t uh, old tattoos that I had. And again, she had control. So a week later, I said, are you ready? Uh, is, it, is it heavy? Is it, is it feel good? And she said it was heavy, but not too heavy, that it was just right. And still, the whole time that she was tattooing, um, I was controlling the on-off switch. So at any time, um, she could... Okay. If she were to move her hand in a way that, that wasn't going to be good, I was keeping her safe and I could always turn the machine off, which then the needle doesn't come out. It can't poke anything. You, you know, and at the end of the day, you know how you're going to look back on all your tattoos. That's probably going to be your favorite tattoo, I would venture to oh, say. Oh, definitely. Okay. And, she, yeah. so and you know. Bob, thanks so much for being with us. Send our best well, to your daughter. She's going into the family business. Just, just like you went into the family yes, business. Yes. It happened to be yeah, medicine. That's the biggest thing I want to say yeah. is that it's just, uh, it, it's awesome when parents can involve their children and, and treat them more like a person than a baby. And the sooner you do that, the more they're going to be, you know, ready for the real world. I think she did a great job. All Good right. Well, don't let her grow too fast. Enjoy that time together. I love that. Thanks. Thanks, Bob, for being with us. Yeah, the, the scenario where I'm fearful is she goes over to the shop with some of her friends and a bunch oh. of four-year-olds end up with Ted. And he's Hi. not there with his foot on the pedal. Well, right. you know, it's, but obviously this was <laughs> very much supervised. She friends. Oh, my God. That'd be terrible. <laughs> Can you imagine those parents' reactions? I mean, I don't mean to make light of it, but... No, I never thought of that, Travis. <laughs> it's like, you do realize this is permanent. <laughs> <laughs> so no unsupervised time in the tattoo shop is probably a good thing now. Yeah, you know. <laughs> a lot more heads. Stick around.